Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Adobe Illustrator tutorials video, we are going to see that how can we create Captain America's shield in Adobe Illustrator. Now this prop is one of the widely used props and it is very simple to create and today we are going to create Captain America's shield vector for ourselves in Adobe Illustrator. So let's start with our tutorial. First of all, once you have opened your Adobe Illustrator, press Ctrl N to open up a new artboard for yourself and uh, as usual choose a custom 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels. Now just press Ctrl 0 to fit it to the area of visibility. Now as you can see in the sample over here, uh, we have used four circles. So first of all, we would be creating the circles. So for that, just go to your rectangle tool and right click on this small arrow over here and select the ellipse tool. Now what we are going to do is just fill it with a shade of red. Uh, but that's not our final color. Uh, we are just doing it uh, for symbolic purposes and just change its uh, stroke to a none then just create its copy by pressing ctrl c and ctrl shift v to paste it in place then go to object here you will find an option of path in it you will find an option of offset path so just click on it and just uh, change its value to a minus 25 pixels and make sure that the preview is on uh, so we are just going to increase it a little bit. Uh, yes, minus 75 pixels is correct. So I'm just going to go with minus 75 pixels and then click OK. Uh, now you got to just fill it with a shade of white. So we're going to apply a gradient uh, to it afterwards. But for, uh, for now, you can just fill it with a white color. Then again, copy it using Ctrl C and paste it in place using Ctrl Shift and V. Again, go to Object, Path, Offset Path and uh, just apply a minus 75 pixels. Press OK. Then this would again be colored with a red color. So uh, just pick up an eyedropper tool. Again, just press Ctrl C and Ctrl Shift V. Then again go to object, path, offset path, minus 75 pixels, press OK. Now this time we are going to use a shade of a blue. So just color it with a blue color. Now this is a kind of a reference that we have got that what our shield will look like. Now if we look into our sample animation or the sample vector, uh, then we have created a star inside this blue shape. So for that, what we are going to do is just go back to our rectangle tool and just change its color to white once again. And then we are just going to draw a rectangle like this. Now we are going to make it look like a square uh, or a star. So for that, just grab onto the pen tool, right click and uh, go to an add anchor point tool and add an anchor point over here. Then just add an anchor point over here as well. Now just right click and go to the delete anchor point tool. Now delete these two anchor points like this. And grab onto your direct selection tool and just change the position of this anchor point to something around here. Now for these two remaining shapes, similar thing has to be done. That is draw a rectangle like this. Now again, grab onto your rectangle tool and draw a rectangle like this. And uh, grab onto the delete anchor point tool, delete one of its uh, anchor points, just change its color to white. And uh, grabbing onto the direct selection tool, just change its position to around here. And 
एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन ऑल्सो जस्ट जूम इन अ लिटिल बिट सो आज टू गेट अ बेटर व्यू ऑफ योर एंड प्रोडक्ट and then using the reflection tool you can just uh, change its reflection like this and just change its position as well so now this is the shape of the star that i'm happy with now what we are going to do is apply some gradient to it so just uh, go on to this gradient tab and change its type to a radial gradient and instead of black color i'm just going to choose a shade of gray like this and now what i'm going to do is just ungroup it once and just select these both shapes then go to windows and here you will find an option of pathfinder and then just click on unite so these would be united together and that would be the final product now what i'm going to do is just manipulate it a little bit so i'm going to choose this shade of a gray with a white and the gradient slider would be placed around here yes so i'm pretty happy with it and as the blue color is concerned again for this we are going to apply some gradient so just select on this gradient and now we are going to choose the shades of blue uh for the purpose of gradients similarly for the red color as well uh just apply a gradient to it and this time two shades of red would be chosen so a darker red and a lighter red and as this red is concerned we can just grab onto our eyedropper tool and just change its shade to something like this and as this white is concerned i'm just going to apply a gradient to it as well uh so i have chosen the same gradient as that of the star that we had created earlier but i'm just going to manipulate it somewhat and uh, then just increase the area of this white around here and just uh choose a lighter shade of gray for it yes so that looks good to me uh grab on to your pen tool again and just draw these kind of vectors that um are tracing roughly the shapes of these stars and it's kind of a shadow effect that is being added instead of the gradient just apply a single color to it now as the color is concerned uh, we are just going to choose a shade of black that is some kind of a grayish color to it uh like this then um we are just going to play with its opacity values a little bit so just go to appearance uh, here you will find an option of fill 
and here you can just click on opacity and decrease its opacity to around an eight percent all right now this looks good to me and similarly uh using the same pen tool i'm just going to add another shape over here like this with the same specifics again around like this and similarly its opacity also i'm just going to decrease to around a five or six like this so that is how you can create captain america's shield very easily in adobe illustrator and i hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial for more such tutorials keep watching the youtube channel programming knowledge till then goodbye